All right, I think we're live. Hi, everyone. This is George Cow, and I'm with Danielle Gardner today. This is a special Facebook Live video that is in anticipation of our course launch called The Message Building System. And I asked Danielle here to share with us an overview of what is the message building system and why uh, is it important to clarify your message so that your content can attract the audience that you actually want to attract. So let me just say hi to Danielle first. Hi, Danielle. Hi, George. How are you going? <laughs> and uh, it's okay if I call you Danny on, on this video. Oh, for sure. Okay. <laughs> for sure. Um, so I just a, a brief word about uh, who, who Danny is. She is a messaging and marketing mentor, and she has helped a lot of clients clarify their message. Uh, she's also um, an expert in human design, or at least she applies a human design system to one's marketing. And I've just really appreciated her um, ability to do marketing from a very um, heart-centered place. I mean, you know, that, that word heart-centered marketing is used everywhere these days, and um, I don't I don't necessarily feel that uh, that kind of um, uh, the, that kind of integration with with a lot of other people, but I do with Danielle. So I do encourage that you check out her Facebook page. I think she has great content there to look at, and um, you know she and I do things differently sometimes, but I feel like she she does it in an authentic way, and and it's always good to see a diversity of how authentic marketing is done. So definitely check out her Facebook page and her website as well. So without further ado, Dan Danny, we don't have a lot of um, time here today and I wanna make sure you give people an overview of why is it important to clarify their message uh, and how do we kind of start going about doing it. So I'll let you take it away. Yeah, sure. So I think one of the biggest reasons to clarify your message is to build an audience so that is what everyone wants to do and it's interesting I you know I share with you that poll I did on my page the other uh, a week or two ago and um, people were saying oh yeah I'm doing content but I they weren't connecting that with building an audience you know they're like I'm really consistent with my content um, but uh, so I don't need help with that. That's basically what I was getting, but I, you know, want to build my audience. And yet when I checked out some of those pages, I was like, yeah, okay. So there's really no engagement on their page and not that engagement, you know, I don't want to look at engagement as in this sort of vanity metrics, but if there is no way, like if you're not generating any conversation, then there is something very wrong. There's actually a plane going over here right now. I just realized I've never had a plane go over here. Um, so that would be the number one reason I really want to, I guess, drive home. Like if you want to build your audience, you need to clarify your message. But what I mean by clarify your message could be different to what other people mean. So like your message, I believe it's not just, it's kind of not one thing. It's actually a couple of things, you know, and what I also like to um, help people with is what is the kind of the cause? What is the, uh, what is the other term I use for it? The, not the cause, but, but you know, like what is the message behind the ministry your or the, the, yeah, the, the you mission? Know, and, yeah. And that is connected with your journey, you mm. know? So yeah. if we take my, like one of my messages, for example, is um, that's sort of weaved through is about slowing down to mm. essentially speed up. And that's been a big mm. part of my journey because I was like the, yeah, six figures and trying to, you know, race ahead and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, that's, that's flowed through. And then I guess before I go into a, a bit of an overview, I think the other really important thing to mention is um, this issue of visibility. So a lot of people um, that I work with and, and probably you too, George, um, they'll say they have a, a real issue with being visible. And what is often um, portrayed in the online business world is you need to run off and get your blocks cleared. <laughs> Go and get your blocks cleared and then you'll be right. You'll be, you'll be able to be visible. And I think that often the reason people aren't comfortable with showing up online is often way more practical. And that is they're just not confident about what they're saying and what they're talking about. And um, this system that I've been using 
it sort of, it really fleshes things out. And it's also a system that is evolving. So it's sort of like, you know, how um, you say, George, that this is not about pinning down your message. And I don't think that either, but it's a starting point. It's like, this gives you a starting point and a focus to what you can experiment talking about, basically. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. I love that. And I want to just encourage everyone who's watching to uh, feel free to comment below as you hear anything from, from Danielle that you are liking, you know, a few words, let us know what's, what's resonating with you and also any questions you have about this process. So feel free. And I uh, already, <clears throat> excuse me, I already see one comment here from Shweta. So thank you for your comment there. All right. So keep going, Danielle. Sorry. All right. So was there anything else we were going to cover or that you wanted to ask me before I go and share my screen and, and yeah, do a bit no. of an overview? I would love to get, get the overview and then I'd love to also for you to talk through the overview of the course that's coming up. Like what are the four sessions that they're going to cover? So, but let's, let's talk first about the message organizer and, and how that works. Yeah. So I'm just lining this up. Great. Here we go. I'll just share my screen now. Yeah. And I, what I, what I'm looking forward to in this collaboration with, with Danny on this course is that, she's going to have a, a nice looking slideshow. And for those of you who, who know uh, my courses, I, I, I'm, I'm very, you know, uh, I just have a document, you know, with words. But one of the things that, that is authentic about, about Danny is that she thinks, and Danny, this is a, a cool uh, idea that you, you share, which is to make your marketing your art. It's like, instead of, yeah. instead of marketing as like a chore or as a means to an end, yeah. it's an art, it's a, it's, it's an art project. You know, it's, it's a, it's a way to express your, your creativity and your fun and your heart. And so, um, that's kind of how you do your marketing and, and that's how you also, how so do your, uh, your, your course slides as well. So this is just a little yeah. taste of, of, of what's Yeah. The, and the I guess just, I just want to sort of speak to that as well. Um, the plan isn't to have a whole slideshow the whole time because I really right. love that interactive thing that you have going. Yes. So oh, yeah. I, yeah. So there will be, I'll be able to show some examples of things and, and stuff like that, which will be great. Um, but yeah, just, I guess, so people know it won't be just like you're looking at a slideshow. There'll yeah, be like, you know, it'll, it'll still look like a George. <laughs> kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. And I will be there obviously the yeah. whole time I'm going to be there to insert my own insights into things and also to coach uh, participants in the course on you know any any questions and any examples and things so anyway go ahead all right this. so let's have a quick go through this if I can get it to go to the next slide sometimes that first one is um, a bit tricky all right so um, this the message um, the messaging system I have is based on these four parts and I, I call it the message organizer all right and well <laughs> Okay, I think that was the next slide. So the four parts um, to, to, you know, I've tried to use one word here to kind of summarize what each part is about. The first part, which is also the first, what the first session is going to be focused on in the course is about your journey. So we're having a look at how has life prepared you or been preparing you to help others mm. based on your own lived results. Um, and also like based on the skills that you already have. So we're sort of like looking at what is your journey be? What, what is your, the skills that you already have? And what is the, what can we get from that? What are some of the themes that arise? What, what goals can you achieve that you can help others achieve? Or what things do you know that you can help others to know, you know, kind of thing. So it's, um, in, in session one, there will actually be time, like quiet time essentially, in the course for some reflection and to for people to actually have a think about some of these things I'm presenting and they'll also be able to share with us what they come up with in the chat and stuff like that um, so session two and three um, are going to be fleshing so first of all as as a result of session one I'm going to show people how to come up with a basic statement that like an umbrella statement that can give focus to what they're going to start basing their content around, all right? It's kind of loosely around, but it will have a focus. So they're moving into class two and three. Oh, sorry, class two. We are going to be looking at um, what are the challenges that people face with these things that you can help people with 
through their eyes, like not through mm. our eyes, because this is a really big mistake that a lot of us make. We, 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 we kind of lead with this message about what we think people should know. But the, there's a, to really be of service to people in marketing, we need to actually meet them with where, what they're thinking, what's in their consciousness, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we can go and, you know, take them on a journey. So it's about fleshing these things out. Like what are the challenges as they see them? And then what, what things do they believe they think that they need help with? So it's really helpful to flesh these things out because these become individual content pieces. And, and when, when, the, when the message organizer is actually filled out, there will be at least 16 content pieces that people can go away and create like very specifically that will build this content foundation to build their audience. Mm -hmm. Now in um, session four, uh, actually three, yeah, session three, we're, we're looking at um, like drawing out someone's world view. So like what I like to call it is like the world according to George or the world according to Danny, because when you actually create content, you're going to sh write content through the lens of your worldview. And that's what makes your, like each of our content interesting, right? Mm. And this is the thing, and there's a lot of content that isn't interesting out there. So people keep scrolling, you know, but people are, I think they're really looking for some meaning. They're really looking for, um, like if we can put real parts of ourselves out there, um, in our content and, and share what we really think and feel about things, people are more willing to share what they really think and feel, or it, like, can, be, it can be very validating for them. So this is a really important aspect um, of it. And then, uh, well, I'll move on to the next bit because that will help tie it in together. So this is kind of summarizing what I've said, like as a result of going through this four part process, you've got a list of specific content pieces that you need to go away and create that build this foundation and that build your audience, right? Um, the other thing that this system does is it does show you how to actually use your content essentially from the, mo the message organizer to um, create an offering that is relevant. But um, this, we're not, the idea is you actually create the content. Like you need to sort of just go and experiment with that content first, um, rather than, you know, as, as you say, George, like, you know, don't just go throwing offers out there, do the content first, the content mm -hmm. marketing and see how people respond. But that is just an added bonus really of how this flows in. So let me just see. Yeah. So essentially these content pieces, they're going to create this fertile soil that make people interested in the offer that you eventually present, you know, that is based on this. So a lot of people, they, they skip this content building, you know, the audience building, um, or, yeah, the content piece, and they're just going straight to the sales, the sales. Wow. And they're like, why aren't people enrolling my course? Why aren't people, you know, and they've, they haven't built any foundation. Um, now, I think, yeah, that's, that's not for now. So that is sort of gives us an overview in, so in, in session four, um, I'm actually going to, and actually right through the course, there'll be some live demonstrations with some people mm -hmm. um, about each step, but in session uh, four, um, I will be demonstrating how, um, how I use this, this offer template to actually really easily create an offering that makes sense and that people can justify buying. And in that final session, there'll also be more time for Q&A, won't there, George, and um, mm -hmm. sort of just, yeah, clarifying the whole process. Yeah, absolutely. And, and just to kind of do a quick summary of what you have here on the slide on the left-hand side, the MO, the message organizer, um, okay. you know, you kind of start with a statement of, uh, what you do is that right? Start with a statement of so this. Yeah. Well, I further up you'll see that I put the journey. So mm -hmm. it starts by exploring the journey, right? And then okay. session one, I help people put together. Um, uh, I call it a rough. Well, it, it's called an overarching statement, but I also call it a rough statement because sometimes people get too fixated on right. this 
date needs to be perfect before mm-hmm. we move on. And I'm like, no, no, no. If it, you know, like if it, if it seems to make sense, the words can be refined later, mm-hmm. but we can move on yeah. with content pieces. Cool. Yeah, with, yeah. Yeah. And then challenges and help uh, just to give people some, just an, a, a quick review is that challenges is what your ideal clients are, are well, the difficulties are going through that, that you could help with. But then the help is like, you know, you kind of go from listing their challenges to reframing that into this is what I can help them with. Isn't that right? Yeah. So in both cases, you are still meeting them with their, with, with where they're at, because mm-hmm. what you've got to imagine that is under point two and three, you're going to end up with, at least eight points. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least different. At least, at least, yeah, eight different things that will become content pieces. And mm-hmm. um, so, the idea is that the lead-ins, because I'm all about with a piece of content, that first line needs. Yeah. I call it prime real estate. That needs to be speaking to them something that's going in with their consciousness. Now, let's say, for example they believe they need help with, okay, let's take the visibility thing with my audience. Okay. Their, their challenge is they, they don't, they don't want to be, um, they feel reluctant to like show up online and market Mm -hmm. themselves, right? Right. Because they, they have issues with visibility. Now what they believe they need help with a lot of them is they believe they need to have their blocks cleared. (laughs) Right. Right. Yes. So I might start like, so I would list that like as, okay, they need, believe they need to have their blocks cleared. But if I was writing a piece of content, I start with this idea that, you know, I would mention something about visibility and having your blocks cleared in the first sentence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. But right. then I take them on the journey. Yes. Then I, then I put, put forward my point of view, which is, hey, maybe you don't need that. Maybe it's a lot more practical. So I'm helping them think differently. Mm-hmm. But the, there's this art of really um, putting that first sentence together. And this is why these part two and three are so essential, mm. you know, because people will just start content just in you know a really vague way and then they 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 wonder why um people don't really pay attention to them so this site really helps people create pieces of content that are going to zero in and then people are going to end up thinking gee what else has she got to say Hmm." you know and so when they see you come up wherever online they're like yeah what else has she got to say you know so does that make sense, George? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I've, I've seen, of course, the, the inside of the course uh, myself, and I'm just really looking forward to people getting into working on these different parts and seeing the examples from fellow students, uh, which then kind of contra- compares and contrasts with one, one's own uh, statements, questions, challenges, help, um, worldview, that, that then brings you know, so this bigger picture together. Oh, okay. So that's really what I'm bringing forward into, into the world. So um, anyway, I really hope this is helpful for those of you who are interested in the course. And um, I hope you'll join us in the course because I think it's, it'll be a really worthwhile experience. If you're going to take any other marketing course about clarifying your message, I think this is going to be the one that, that will, in my opinion, will be the most helpful. Um, Danny, is there anything else you want to share before we um, kind of close out this uh, video? There, I think I may have said it. I thought, I know George is going to ask me if there's one more thing I want to share. I think I just wanted to make sure that people know that there will be an opportunity to get some um, feedback during, during the live class by what they write in the chat box. Mm-hmm. Um, and... And also, I think what's really important to know is there will be some live examples about how this works. And I have, yeah. normally I would do this process, I've mainly done it one-on-one, but I have started doing it in groups. And what I find is when I can demonstrate even the with someone in the class, when everyone sees how that happens, they're like, oh, right, you know, yeah. because they'll see the kind of questions that I'm asking that person to just kind of go deeper and deeper. So, or more specific, should I say, because yeah. that's probably another thing. People are not used to being 
as specific as they need to be. And um, mm -hmm. once they see that demonstrated, like a few light bulbs go off and it's easier for them to do it themselves. Yeah, yeah, good. I'm looking forward to it. So um, if there are any questions any, any of you watching this have about um, the course itself or about kind of the overall overarching ideas that, that we've been sharing in this video, comment below and I'll make sure uh, Danny sees it. And, uh, and you know, uh, I'm, I'm really, look, I mean, there's already a couple dozen folks who have signed up for the course. So I'm really looking forward to um, interacting with those of you who are going to be joining us. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks yeah. so much, Danny, for joining me for this. Yeah. Thank you, George. This has been fun. Yeah, thanks.